Hey everybody and welcome to Happy Hour Fridays. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh, it's been a great year, right? We can say that. 2020, you know, had its ups and downs, but you know, we all still here. We made it. So I'm so excited because we're coming back on to our second season and we have a phenomenal year as well as phenomenal kings and queens that is going to be joining us this year that I can't wait to interview. So a lot has been happening, right? A lot has been happening to everybody when it's coming to their business, their lives. So we're excited to hear about people's stories, how they overcame COVID and even though COVID is still happening, how their businesses and everything is doing. So we're very excited to hear about that and hear how we can support and help. Because for those who don't know about Happy Fridays, Happy Fridays is about businesses. You know, telling us about your business, about your start, how we can help and support you and literally see what we can do to help your business, right? So it's just show, showcasing your business and as well helping other business owners, not just as myself, but upcoming business owners or people want to start businesses knowing how to even start, where to start. So these segments are really just to help people promote their businesses. So last year we focused on black businesses, all right? This year, we're focusing on all businesses, okay? Because there's a lot of business out there that we just need to really see what we have out here, right? So, we're going to support all businesses this year, but we're definitely not forgetting about our black kings and queens, all right? So, I am so happy and excited because today we're interviewing somebody who was you know, this is my sister. She watched me grow up since I was a baby, since I've been born. I'm so proud of her. You know, um, she's literally has created this big corporation here um, doing lashes, guys. Lashes. And I know a lot of you guys like, yeah, I do lashes and I do this, I do this. She has literally <laughs> made this lash game like she took control over it and she is doing an amazing job, okay? So I really just want to hear about her story. I never heard about her story, how she got started, why she even got into lashes and all, all that came with it up until now. So I'm so excited to have have her join us we will have her join in a minute again it is happy hour friday okay so that means i need you to have your cocktails all right so tonight i'm just drinking on some wine we're gonna keep it nice and simple you know because the weather out there just it's, it's just like a wine time i don't want no cocktails i don't feel like turning up but it, it just chill wine so i'm just drinking some moscato so everybody have your drinks on hand if you don't drink have your mocktails if you don't do mocktails have whatever you do okay so also for announcement wise um, just a little bit. I know I told you guys, hey, we're doing Happy Hour Fridays. Um, I know I posted on my Instagram, Twitter, and I posted on my Facebook, but now we're moving to YouTube. So once I get everything prepared, I'll be posting this video and seasons one, um, you know, Happy Hour segments on YouTube. So everybody is able to watch it. Everybody is able to view and, you know, we get a large following so people can support your businesses. And then two, we got... Me, with bartending, my team, we now have hookah, all right? So we teamed up with 202 Pressure, shout out to Ayana, um, amazing, amazing young queen out here doing her thing. We teamed up, so we just don't offer bartending service, we offer hookah service as well. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but I definitely want to share those announcements. And again, we are looking for bartenders. If you are interested in bartending, please hit your girl up be happy to have you join our team all right so all into that i just wanted to get you know because it's a new year it's the second season i have to do my announcements now it's time for the interview so i'm gonna request my big sis mika her name is tamika but i call her mika for short to come on and grace us with her presence hi sis hey, go, hey. hi beautiful <laughs> how you doing let me move my camera back hold on now girl i had to do the same thing i said let me move my camera back hold on <laughs> Know how to set up. How you doing, Queen? Hey, Boo. Hey. You hey, look so beautiful. Thank you. You look hey. beautiful, too. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Boo. Okay, so we're definitely going to get into this. Do you have your cocktail? No, I don't. I didn't want to be distracted. Sis, how you going to have the cocktail? How you not going to have the cocktail? 
over the house. I got water. I got water. You got water. Okay, we can do a water. We can do a water. All right. So everybody, welcome. Welcome to Happy Hour Fridays. I want you to welcome and give a warm big hug. Shout out everything to my big sis Hi. here. We have Miss Tamika. She is the owner, founder of Blink Meek Lash Bar. Okay. So we're so excited to definitely be interviewing you. I mean, shoot. It's long time coming, right? I mean, we got uh, season one happening, and you know, now it's season two. You're my first guest, so I'm so honored to have you on here. Uh, here. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So we're definitely going to get into this, right? So we have people who are joining us on right now, and let me tell you how this works, sis. So basically, you know, you come on here, you tell us your story on how you started, and you just let us know, look, this is how I started, this is where I'm at, and and then we go into your pros and cons and then we go into hey how can we support you and your business and how can you give other people tips and success on how to be successful within their business or if they want to start a business right so very easy we just want to see how you got started right so we're going to give a couple of shout outs right now before we get all into the mix for people who are joining us right now so we have a, excuse me if i pronounce your instagram wrong Look, don't hold it against me, please, all right? But I want to shout you guys out. So we have Sans underscore Lash Extension who just joined us. And we have Aries Vinden. And then we have Airy Pop 247 who just joined us. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for joining. We're about to start this beautiful interview here, all right? So, again, we got the founder CEO of Blink Meek Lash Bar. She's going to tell us how her start. So go ahead and introduce yourself, Queen, and let people know, look, how did you even get into this business that you're doing right now? Oh, great evening to everyone. Happy New Year. I am, as she said, Tamika Jones. I am the owner and founder of Blink Mink Lash Bar here in Atlanta, Georgia. I am, I have to say, the Blink Mink Lash Bar because unfortunately, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, okay. making sure that we'll talk about branding a little bit later. But anyway... Um, I actually, believe it or not, got into lashing. Uh, I was kind of pushed into it, believe it or not. Um, I did nothing with the beauty industry before I um, found uh, Blink Meat Lash Bar in 2016. Um, I began to feel a little rumble in corporate because I'm a paralegal um, by profession. Uh, and I just... Um, I remember one of my best friends getting lashes. And now you got to remember, I didn't do none of that. You know this right, very well. I know. I didn't do no nothing. No exactly. nothing. I my brows tweezed, you know. Exactly. And, um, and so um, I remember noticing that she looked a little different. And I was like, oh, you got a new boo? I'm thinking it's a man. And I'm like, okay, right. well, you know, what's this glow you have? And she'd be like, girl, I got my lashes done. And I was like, I ain't getting no lashes. You know, I was just kind of like, I'm not doing that. That's not it. Kind of thinking, I was in that place like, I don't do no fake stuff. You know, lashes are fake. You yes. know, like, I was one of them. And so, um, anyway, condensed version, I end up getting them lashes done. And uh, even though e initially I was completely taken off guard, I was like, oh, whoa, I don't know about this. You know, but right. I fell in love with it and I remember it laying on a a sense of femininity on me you feel what I'm saying like another layer of femininity like I could walk around with my hair in a bun I could I mean when you wake up in the morning you feel like man I look good you feel what I'm right. saying morning breath and all like whoo I look a look good you know <laughs> and I exactly. remember how it me feel and um, I remember at that time, professionally in my life, things had begun to kind of feel funky on my job. And I had just really begun to ask and pray, you know, and ask God, okay, okay, what is, what else am I good at? And at the time, my spiritual leader was doing a series on um, bringing in another extra stream of income. What is your standout quality? And I was like, I don't know what my standout quality is. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I was in school for psychology. So I wasn't thinking anything in the beauty industry. And so um, she actually approached me. and was like, you know what? You're super, super meticulous, Tamika. Why don't you take my lash class? And I bust out laughing. I was like, I'm not taking no lash class. Right. <laughs> maybe I can organize somebody's closet. You know, maybe I can do something different. You know, that's kind of more my speed. But yeah, not no lashes. 
got my lashes done remember how it made me feel as a woman and i signed up for her class and let me tell you how she bossed up on me um lady lorana phelps she sent me in an invoice immediately and i was like whoa i'm like you ain't getting a chance to think about it and she said no she was like this isn't the season for you to be hesitant she said and i need to know that you're serious about you know my time and I was like, dang, okay. And so I paid for that class. And I remember the day of my class. Actually, Crystal um, was my my lash model. And right. long story short, got my model on the table. And here I am, you know, applying the lashes. And I'm nervous as a tick thinking maybe I'm not doing a good job because she kept kind of coming in. And she would make this smile at me. And I was like, dang, I must not be doing good. Mm. And after everything was said and done, got done with Crystal, she essentially almost, she like had a full set of lashes. And um, she, Lady LaRonna ended up telling me I have never, she said it took me a whole hour before I laid my very first lash when I started lashing. She was like, you got it. She's like, I've never seen anybody leave out of a lash class with their model having a full set of lashes. And God, I, I don't take any credit for it. God, I give God all of the glory. Mm -hmm. He He anointed my hands to do what it is I do, you know, that I do. And I right. most so that's how I got into lashing. And I, in about six months after me taking that class, I was released from my job. And I have been in full-time lashpreneurship since then. That is beautiful. And shout out. Shout out to the model, Crystal. That's our big sister. Shout out to her, love underscore She's life so 79. Good. Look, look. <laughs> she was the model. Shout out to her sister. And shout out to your, you know, your lash coach who got you in here. And we Push not me. going to forget. Yes, she who pushed, pushed you. Who pushed you. And even yeah. shout out, we, we always give God the glory to anything that we do. And, yeah. you know, we shout out to him, big ups, because at the end of the day, you wouldn't be in the situation that you are in now. So, I didn't know. I had never, let me tell you how deep this runs. I had never picked up a set of tweezers in my life. Yes, I know you, Mika, because I know you were never. I, that's why it blew me. When, you, when I saw that, I was like, Lashes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. And, and you was killing it. That's how you know that was your calling. That was your the, calling. Hit the ground running. Completely different industry. I was like, oh no, you know, no. Completely different industry. So when God has a plan, I'll start off by saying that. When yeah. God has a plan for your life. He will get it out of you one way or the other. One way or the other. So, everybody, thank you for joining on. We got Miss Tamika Jones on here, owner, founder of Blink Meek Lash Bar. And she's telling us how she started, how she even got into the lash game. So, everybody who's out there wearing lashes, everybody who literally are is in the lash game, yo, you got the lash. I mean, the lash queen over here. She knows the ends of the outs. And we're going to get more into, you know, detail about how great amazing she is into the game and how knowledgeable she is into this game for everybody who's out there who is interested or even doing lashes so you can get some you know some tips from her right now so shout out to jasmine underscore katora bailey's bartender 2019 thank you guys for joining us so let's let's get into a little bit more detail right so you started off okay you, you did your classes all right you feeling it like okay i like this I think I can do this, right? So let's go on from there. When you started doing it, right, what were the pros and cons that you were facing? Like, okay, this is new territory. So tell us the pros and cons that you faced when going into this new field. So y'all got to remember, like I said, I um, the pros and the cons that I faced uh, in the industry, um, I didn't have a man at the time that was funding it. I didn't have six months saving in the bank. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that. Let me tell you something. My cl lash class was just that, a lash class. Right. Um, and I didn't have a table. I didn't have anything outside of what was provided to me. Um, and I still keep my, I tell everybody this, I even tell my lash students, I still have um, the plastic baggie that my lash supplies came in. I don't despise small beginnings. I wasn't looking for, and I tell people that even now as I teach classes, I wasn't, I didn't start off with a bunch of stuff. Matter of fact, Crystal bought my first LED light. It was, I think, 11 oh, wow. Walmart. And it wasn't a stand-up LED light. It was a, a, a reading light that yes. I had 
through one eye at a time and I move the 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 uh, lamp on the other side of the eye yes the until I was able to make enough money to to um to purchase a standalone lash light like how Yo, I you remember that light like, Mika I remember yeah, that you I said that on mama's on mama's lashes I, I remember that light like, yes I still have light and I keep those type of things to keep, you know, here's the thing. If you want to start any type of business, whether I don't care what it is, we're talking about lashing because that's my story, but it doesn't require a lot of money. It just takes drive. It just takes hunger. It just takes, are you hunt? That's the question that I ask anybody that's looking to be in full-time entrepreneurship. Are you hungry? Yes. Because yes. if you're not hungry, you're not going to do what it takes to eat. You yeah. will wait for somebody to feed you. So if it's something that you want to do, I started with nothing. My mm. very first lash client was on my on my couch. Mm. But mm. I provided a service. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And so I I don't so when I teach my students, I don't take excuses. If you if you invest this money and you don't see a turnaround within I say 60 days, you mm. are hungry enough. I can't teach you hunger. Right. You got, that's something you got to have. If you're not hungry, that's on you. That's not on me. And I say that for any profession that you get into, and any side hustle that you're trying to get into, you can't stop with just certification if you're trying to lash. I'm successful at what I do because I continued my education. I kept my ear to the ground of this billion dollar industry and I continued to learn. I didn't just stop at a lash class. I learned safety and sanitation. I and I kept up with it every single year. I, I do that every year. I do a barbicide um safety and certification class every year. I do a yeah. my lady certification class every year. Is it required in my industry? Absolutely not, but I'm hungry. Yes. I never want a customer to come into my establishment long before COVID and not feel like it's a safe place for them, for their eyes. We're talking about eyes so i say to anybody any type of business that you're trying to get into if you're not hungry stay stay in corporate stay stay at home because you, you know what mika it's not for the week <laughs> and you know what mika that is a great tip that you gave um to our fellow entrepreneurs out here because that is one thing and um i always tell even to my peers i don't care who i'm talking to or who i'm doing business with if you do not, you, your, your phrase is hungry, and my phrase is passion. If you don't have either one of those, you will not succeed into what you're trying to do. Because at right. the end of the day, it has to be a fire. Like, you you thinking about it constantly. When you Come up, on. when you sleep, you can't sleep because you constantly, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. There has yeah. been plenty of times, and you know, I you know your, your, your niece, there's plenty of times I have people be like, yo, you look tired because I will stay up all night. No, I got to take care of a dog on one-year-old now and get, I already barely gave me sleep, and I still stay up all night just because I'm like, I need to do this. I got to do this. I can't go to sleep. I got to I gotta do this. You so. Know? Yes, I'm, I'm like you're hungry. Because exactly. when you're hungry, you exactly. do what you need to, do to eat. I don't care what's exactly. going on. If you're hungry, you do you're what hungry. it takes to eat. Exactly. Can, I was working full time. You got to remember, like I said before, I, before I was released from my job, mm -hmm. I was working full time. So I would get off work. At 5.30 in the evening, I would go home, I would cook for my two girls, and mm -hmm. I would lash sometimes until 1, 2, 3 yep. o'clock in the morning, get back up, make sure breakfast was, I, there were no excuses. So no excuses. You, can't, you have to be able to be real with yourself, and you have to be able to eliminate any skew, excuse that you're faced with and say, no, like, I'm hungry. I'm yep, hungry. That's it. I'm hungry. That's it. And 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 it, while we talking about this, hey, hey said well one shout out BL um, W for real. Hey, hey guys for joining us. We are speaking with Tamika Jones, founder, owner, CEO of Blink Meat Lash Bar. Shout out to um oh, excuse me, I am underscore shy cove. Look, we're speaking on some good tips right now. Um, we're talking about how she started. She's gonna tell us a little bit more about her pros and cons that she interfered with into the lash business and we're talking about some good tips to our fellow entrepreneurs even for people who want to get into business period it doesn't have to be into lashes it doesn't have to be into bartending it doesn't have to be into whatever you know we discuss in this business period on the main thing like look like we just said you got to be hungry you got to be passionate right so 
as we moving forward into this conversation, because you, my dear, you just don't do lashes. You do a couple more other things. We, we, you know, you do a couple more other things. You know what I'm saying? But also, I want everybody to know, too, like, this is my panel. This is one of my panels here. So, so you love what she's saying, these, this feedback that she's giving you. Look, she's going to be one of my panelists at the Black Expo, Business Expo that we're doing on March 28th from 12 to 4. This is one of them right here. So literally, you looking for some great tips on how to deceive within your business. She just told you right then and there. She tells her students, her students, if you do not see 60 days, 60 days of return. So On she's going to tell us exactly. And she, so she's going to tell you guys exactly what to do on how to look. This is how I, this is how you need to go about it. This is how you need to do market brand, whatever it is to make your business successful. So don't miss that too. While you're hearing this interview, man, don't miss that conversation during the Black Business Expo on March 28th as well. So we're, we're going to get into more things right now with you, Miss Mika. Look, so within your business right because even i i thought about lashes <laughs> look i know everybody their mama thought about doing lashes because i was like oh i can do that that looks easy so i know i called you i said call you i was like sis and you told me straight up you was like lex this is no this is not nothing that you just can't get into it you you really gotta work like you really gotta work so you gave me some good you know I, I remember that and I heard it in your voice and I said nah this ain't for me this is not for me because at the end of the day I know I wasn't passionate about it so we're gonna get into it on saying okay when you started these lashes hey what would you say was your number one like you just you had a hard time with you literally just knew for a fact like oh my gosh this is really discouraging me or whatever it was that you can tell people how you overcame it okay so <laughs> um in the last three you know that no eye is the same and so the biggest hurdle that i had to overcome was the different um texture of lashes mm. um, that was, believe it or not, was a huge hurdle. Um, and when I first started lashing, there weren't a lot of resources when it came to, as I call, lash mapping. Um, and so, again, keeping my ear to the ground in this billion-dollar industry to make sure that I stay educated and that I wasn't just providing a service for, you know, my customers, um, that was the biggest That was the biggest hurdle for me is, is trying to teach myself at that time, how to be, uh, as I say, a, a, a chameleon lasher. You have to know different hair types. You have to know different styles. You have to know um, the your product use. You had to know those things, and I had to seek that information out. And so just really being flexible. Um, something else that I had to learn, because you have to remember, I had I was in corporate America, so I was accustomed to somebody giving me a schedule what time right. I did <laughs> and exactly. so you know, I had to become disciplined with my time and that was a little difficult you know because at this point in time I don't have you know a job to clock in and out of I'm pretty much doing you know what's good for my schedule mm -hmm. um, I had to learn discipline I had to learn you know the art and the respect for time right you want somebody else clock, let's just be real, real. You know, you kind of play around with that thing. But when it comes to, okay, if this customer, if, if you're not providing a, uh, you're not timely, you know, you are not on time, you're not punctual with your time, you can lose a customer. Yeah. And lose a customer, that does what? That takes out of how you take care of your family. Exactly. And so, think, honey, with being punctual. Look. <laughs> And things happen. Don't get me wrong. Things happen. Uh, but there are some lessons that you just have to learn in entrepreneurship and, you know, learning the business itself outside of just the service, just lashing, you know, was a challenge. And, you know, the biggest lesson was, you know, punctuality. So that's why I had to invest in style seat so that it could keep me punctual. <laughs> keep, keep you punctual. Keep yeah. you on time. First started out, I was I was very passionate about what I did. I didn't want to miss anybody. I wanted to right. lash everybody, and I would I would schedule two people at the same time. It was like the hair salon experience. I would schedule two people, you know, at the same. Yes, and you know, and I'm like, wait a minute, did I do that? So, 
you know, I had to, you know, invest in, you know, making sure that I was able to be punctual and provide, you know, the total experience because it's not just a service for me. I want you to have an experience, you know, when you come to the lash bar. Right. And, you know, hey, that's one thing that I can say about, you know, just being a business period that I'm learning myself too. Punctuality <laughs> is very, very key because at the end of the day, that reflects you and reflects your business. You know, people really look at that. So you hit on a key note, you know what I'm saying? And what also um, I want to get into, so everybody who's joining on, thank you for joining on. We're really having a great conversation with Ms. Tamika Jones here, um, you know, founder owner of Blink Meek Lash Bar. She literally is giving us some great tips from the beginning and to her success stories, to her pros and cons stories. Like we're, we're getting into some good talk right now. So remember, guys, if you're on here, if you have any questions, comments, you know, that you really just want to ask Miss Lovely, Tamika over here, just shoot it in the comments and I'll read it out to her. That's no problem. She has no problem answering it, but we're going to keep moving because, you know, there's so much we have to talk about, right? So oh, I, I yeah. wanted to try to cut you off the con. I didn't touch on the con. The con yeah. in this industry when I came into the industry was the lack of support as <laughs> For the industry it's a it's it's not a i support you it is a you're my competition and i even when i teach my students i don't do competition i'm first of all i'm not in competition with anybody i don't care i don't care i don't care if it's a lash bar on every corner what bleep me provides is what we provide yeah, i have we provide i have my own secret sauce sauce and so I'm not in competition with anyone. And so when you're, but when you're in the beauty industry, it, what I see as a con, unfortunately, because everybody's not, not, um, pull, you, everybody's not team minded. Again, it is a competition. And, um, so that's what prompted me and pushed me to start teaching the courses that I teach. Okay. I wanted to create a community that was supportive of one another. Right. On vacation too. I might fall sick at some point in time too. And I needed to know that my customers were still going to be provided the exact same service that they would get from Blink Mink Lash Bar. Okay. I have people who call me, you know, hey, do you have somebody that you trained on my side of town? You know, do you have somebody, you know, that you can send me to, you know, if mm -hmm. I'm not well, or I go on vacation. Um, and it, it gives me joy to be able to place my customers in the hands of somebody that I would lay on their table and get my lashes done. They know that, you know, they've been properly taught safety and sanitation. They know that they, you know, have been properly, you know, taught how to isolate a lash, how to properly not put a lash on your skin. Like they have full confidence in anybody that I send them to. When I was sick a couple of weeks ago, you know what I mean? I had to send customers out. And it did me joy, you know, for them to be like, man, like you taught them where I don't do mannequin training. There are just certain things that I don't do and I provide for Blink Me Lash Bar um, that I'm fully confident in what I produce. Um, but that that's not what was provided to me when I first got into this industry. So if I had to say mm -hmm. anything, that was the con. It was the lack of support. Um, I want to keep the information to myself because I don't want you to do better than me. And my thinking process is totally different. I want us both to win. It's, it's exactly. over two calls in the city of in the city of Atlanta. So Just in the city, period. Yeah. So I would say that was probably the con when I got mm -hmm. into the end. Right now, I don't care. Like. Whatever. Right, because now, now you, and that's where it goes back to, you know, we give all glory to God, period, because at the end of the day, your lane and your path is your own path. Everybody has their own different lanes and paths. So it's, and one thing that you did hit on that I love that you hit on is, you know, when we're in a business, you know, business world, and we're interacting with different people and people in the same industry or, you know, so forth. It's not, I'm glad you hit on that because it's not a competition. No. And I say this all the time. And even to my other mentor, shout out to Bailey Spartan in 2019. Um, the reason why we definitely clicked so well is the fact that she was so willing just to help me. Or just go ahead. Like, I want you to see it. I want you to be successful. You know what I'm saying? So just seeing that love, seeing that, yo, it's everybody can eat. 
It's money out here for everybody to eat. You can have 20, 30 doggone bartenders, 20, 30 doggone lashes, meat lashes out here. It's enough money for everybody to eat. So it's good that you hit on that because people in the business world need to hear that. It's not about competing against one another. We can be in the same spot right next to each other. Somebody is going to go to your table. Somebody is going to try at my table. You're going to have something that you're good at. I'm going to have something that I'm good at different niches but we may say the sell thing saints you know sell the same thing so guys understand that that's one thing i'm glad you said that please understand it's enough money out here for everybody to eat and that is one thing about these segments i want everybody to understand i may have a business and a lot of people will tell me why you don't you need to focus on your business you need to help promote your business I'm good. Like, I'll promote my business. You know, I'm going to promote. But I did these segments to help other promote their business because I want other people to know there's plenty more business out here that people may not know about. So it's all about helping and building each other up. And that's all I want us to understand. We need to help each other and build each other up. For real, we need to help each other. So literally, guys, you gave a great tip. And really, um, one second, we have You Love Beanie who just joined. And we have Miss Tamika, Tamika Jones, Blink Mink Lash Bar owner, CEO, founder. She's giving us some great topics. Like, I could talk to you all day, sis. I really could. Because you're really, <laughs> like, like you, get in, you, you dig it into some things that I could literally talk for hours about. <laughs> something else too because this is important for the entrepreneur that's yes. looking to anything i always tell my students this too mcdonald's has never been worried about what burger king burger provides king. Nobody. Fact, they both have companies all over the world um one has a sesame seed bun and one doesn't McDonald's has never been concerned about what Burger King was doing. I mean, I actually did some research some time ago that one was on the scene. Everybody thinks that McDonald's came first or whichever. But anyway, so mm -hmm. I tell my students, you know, that are worried, oh, you know, there's so many lash checks in Atlanta. They're, it's so oversaturated. I'm like, yeah, but you have to know what your secrets your. are. You have to know what you bring to the table. I had somebody completely steal my whole brand idea. Color mm -hmm. scheme and all. Wow. Mm -hmm. But it don't stop no show. I'm like, 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 no kidding. I and I found out because they ordered some um, shipping labels from a company clearly on Instagram, and the company was tagging the business on Instagram to say, you know, thank you for your uh, purchase. And I was like, I mean, color. I'm not kidding. Color scheme and all. Oh man! I said you. You mean to tell me you didn't do your research on the Secretary of State to know that there's a blink meat lash bar already? Oh man! Oh, I said you man. come up with no other color scheme. Right. The whole concept. No kidding. Um. So wow. guys, be, whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, be creative, but don't allow what appears to be an oversaturated market stop you from moving forward for what you can provide what you have to do is go back to the drawing board and ask yourself okay what is going to be my signature right. what is it that the customer will receive from my wing shop from my bartending experience what is my standout quality what can i provide to my customers that they're not going to get at the next lash bar i know what mine is so what I, I said all that to say, if you're thinking of doing anything, I don't care if it's baking cookies. I don't care if it's baking cheesecake. I don't care if there's no idea too small um, and there's no idea that's too big. Whatever it is, don't look at your neighbor. You got to look at the lane that you have been assigned to. And then you have to figure out what your signature on that service is going to be. And that yes. was something I to say before yeah. we moved on to the next segment. <laughs> But you're absolutely right. And I'm glad you hit on that because a lot of our entrepreneurs out here, even for those who are starting, that is good tips to give them. You know? Here to everybody. Thank you for joining for us season two. We are here with Bleak Meek Lash Bar, Tamika yes. Jones, CEO, founder. I mean, queen boss in the building. This ain't the only business that she has. So everybody who's joining on, love underscore life um, underscore 79. Thank you for joining us. Um, so... We're definitely about to hit into, because we already spoke about your start, your pros and cons. You already gave us some great tips to our business and entrepreneurs out here about 
what they need to do, what they shouldn't do, just some great tips in general. And two guys, this is one of my panelists for our Black Business Expo that we have coming up for March 28th. So you looking for some more tips, please head and register on Eventbrite for your ticket. You know, it's free entry, all that great stuff. But we're going to continue in, you know, on to more about your business because at the end of the day, you just don't have Blink Me Lash Bar, correct? You have, you know, you're doing some other things, and we want to hear about those things, and then we're going to get into how we need to support you. You know what I'm saying? So let's hear about your other businesses, because we know you do the classes, which we're yes. going to get into, too. So everybody who's interested in taking the class, they know how to, you know, where and where to go to and this, you know, this and that. So let's hear about your other business as well, love. So yes, I do. I do wax. I do all things um, beauty outside of makeup. That's probably I don't have the sauce for makeup. That ain't my noise. <laughs> this is not the area. <laughs> Stay in my lane. Right. Um, but I do uh, lash certification courses. We have different tiers. You can go onto the site and check out the different tiers that we have for that. Um, we do waxing. We do brows. Um, I have a credit repair service. It um, It is on Instagram as well, um, Renew uh, Credit Services. Um, and I also have a, I don't necessarily want to call it a podcast, but it is something that I do on Facebook Live. It's called On the Table. Mm -hmm. um, that concept was birthed clearly from what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I have customers that you as a lash check, you become the therapist, you become the best friend, you become the confidant, you come you become a little bit of everything. And it kind of made me mindful of how relationships are. You can't have an effective relationship if you're not willing to put everything on the table. Right. And so on the table, I didn't want to just be boxed into lashing. I wanted it to be a platform to where we can talk about all types of you know topics issues i do include beauty tips i do include you know lash tips i include all kinds of things in the beauty i incorporate that in the beauty world but we discuss all kinds of things so you can find that on instagram and on the table atlanta um nice. and new credit services we do provide a credit restoration service for you so if your credit's jacked up you want to be a homeowner you got some stuff on your credit that you just really need to get off i can help assist you with that as well um Speaking under that vein, I, I kind of am careful uh, anytime you are an entrepreneur and you're wanting to branch off into different things, you don't want to be like a melting pot of a bunch of stuff that you're doing. Um, mm -hmm. People don't think that you've mastered the one thing that you've gotten into. Um, and so, you know, I just I'm very careful with how I steer, you know, the boat to make sure that everybody still knows that this is the baby. We're getting ready to do a rebrand, you know, because mm -hmm. of some that we spoke about that's why i always typically say i am the blink meek <laughs> yes yes um uh but um yeah so those are some of the other uh, uh business adventures that i have we'll be looking to have a commercial uh property open in 21 i see the but we'll definitely be doing a you know i got some really great stuff that's going to be coming up in 21 um but if i had to say anything to the business owner like i said don't be a hater don't don't be a hater just don't a hater um Look, what's everybody has their own path every yeah yeah like seriously um um and it it doesn't hurt to support each other um you don't have to have a lot of money that was one of the other nuggets that i gave um and um uh, uh continue your education in whatever it is that you're doing i don't care if you want to again i don't care if you want to find a new way to tie your shoelaces if that's a business that you want to provide you know, learn the different fab fabrics, learn what it, you know, figure out what it is that you need to learn, um, educate yourself on. Because let me tell you something. I do believe, and I stand by this 100%, and it's not a, it's not cockiness at all. I am 100% confident in the service that I provide to my customers. That's why I can walk around like I do. That's why I have the confidence that I have because I have learned and perfected my craft. Am I perfect? No, but I have perfected my craft. I keep my ear to the ground to this billion dollar industry. I stay a vessel to continue to learn um, what it is that I love to do. Different wax techniques, different types of waxes that are out there, different type of brow, you know, techniques, different type of uh, brow tinting, you know, products that are out there. What's going to work for this hue? of client what's going to work you can't just stop at the certification you can't just stop at the class you have mm -hmm. to continue your 
their education. And of course, that's super sensitive for me because, I, again, I used to be in the legal field. You have to continue. They don't get a law degree and just go practice law. They have to, they have to get a certain amount of credits every single year to keep their law license. And that's yeah. kind of the attitude that you have to adapt with whatever it is that you're doing. Continue to educate yourself. If it's real estate, continue. Real estate laws are changing all the time. What are right. you doing? that your customer is confident in what service that you're going to provide. So if I had to tell anybody, you know, just make sure the branding and marketing. Listen, save money to get a professional photo shoot done. It looks different when you have a professional picture on a flyer as opposed to a selfie. It's facts. We don't like to hear it, but it is facts. It is facts. You want to look good with your red bottoms on, but you don't even have a professional headshot. Mm. It's we don't. It's tight, but it's right. These are the same things that I had to be, you know, very cautious about. I seen Blink Mink Lash Bar take off when I got professional work done. When I got professional, you know, photo shoot. When I had a professional photo to put on my business card. Um, I, I'm actually in my lash bar. I have professional. Nice. And I'm not trying to show off. I'm just saying there's a difference in quality. It's a different type of customer that I can attract. I don't deal with riffraff. I don't deal with the special customer who always look. But let me piggyback. Let, let me ask you a question then just to people who are interested mm -hmm. on, you know, when you're saying this, right? So how long did it take you to get to that point where you're doing the professional for people who are up and coming, right? Like, my, okay. My mentor, said, my first lady reached out to me, the, the woman who taught me, she mm -hmm. reached out to me. I had to be, uh, when, cause I used to post, 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 post. I was doing, uh, um, pics art. I was doing mm -hmm. what I could. And right. she said, you need to get a professional, you need to get a graphic designer because you, what would begin to happen here's the, here's the tea here's the blue pill what begins to happen is you start looking like the rest of them that are doing the exact same thing that you're doing again the goal is to you want i don't want to i'm going to be honest with you i'm not the last tech that that's for the special if you're looking for a special i'm not your girl you feel what I'm saying because when you understand your worth and what you bring to the table i don't use amazon products I spend money on what I provide to my customers and good business. You have to cook that stuff back into your prices. Mm. This stuff ain't free. So when you're bartending, you got to cook. Hey, this glass cost. That's how restaurants stay in business because they have to cook that stuff back into their prices. So mm. I don't, I'm not doing no, you don't get no $60 last special for me. You never have. I have never done that. You know what I mean? Mm. But I have full confidence in what it is that I'm providing because I keep myself educated. I keep my ear to the ground on what needs to be provided for my customers. I, I, I pay good money for my product. I can afford to charge what I charge, and I don't have any issues with that. I didn't have to shut down my business in the pandemic. I didn't have to run a special to keep my business open in the pandemic. Why? Because you, I, pro, I provide. Listen, even when you go to my site, you already know, wait a minute, she ain't, you, uh, I can't come over there with the foolishness. Right. Exactly. You, but I present that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. You're a certain client because of what you put out there. Mm. And that so makes serious about branding. Is is it expensive? Yes, it is expensive. You know, you don't had to pay for flyers. It's yep. not cheap. It's but not what? you bring in a completely different crowd when you present different. Mm. So you have to ask yourself, who's my target customer? Who am I trying to target? I have a I have a target of the woman that I want to service or male. You know, I don't, you know, what you do is what you do. Right. But I have a customer base that I have, I've been really blessed to be able to maintain. And if somebody doesn't fit, I don't service you. I don't have to. I have sent maybe two customers away because they just weren't a fit. And I was able to tell them, listen, I don't think this is going to be a good professional relationship. You know, I can give you some referrals and I wish you the best. And honey, who didn't think twice about it? Out. And I have right. never looked at it. They still be like, you know, well, can we try to get? No, you're not a fit. You're not my target customer. And you mm -hmm. have to be okay with that. If an entrepreneur has to get in their mind, I don't chase dollars. Mm. I chase smiles. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, 
have a problem sending somebody out the door. I don't serve. Everybody can't take a lash class with me. You might. You are not my student because you ain't gonna make give me no more extra gray hairs. Than <laughs> I and exactly. so there are, a, there are a few questions that I ask that let me know if you're just trying to get into this industry to make some quick money. Or, or is this an industry that you are passionate about? This is something that you, listen, I eat, breathe, and sleep lashes. That's you know what it. I mean? I'm always trying to, uh, trying to find something else that I can provide, provide to my customers. And so that is the, that is the conviction that has it in the soul of a real entrepreneur. That's it. And you hit on a lot of great tips and keys, man. I mean, honestly, again, we can really go into depth about a lot of things that you just said. I'm not going to even lie because I'm, I'm listening with my, both both my ears like, look, I need to start. I'm thinking, I'm thinking while you're talking like, shit, I need to start changing some stuff around. Dang, I need to start, I need to start doing this. But you know what? I, but look. I'm not right connected with you. So you know, you know. Uh, but yes, like, I know. Have I to know. something different if you mm -hmm. want to get something different. That that mom and pop, we in digital. That mom and pop stuff don't work no more in it in our anymore. It just it just doesn't. And you Love have it. to brand that you want people to take you know seriously. You really do. And you're absolutely right. And we we have a few more people who are joining us. So I know y'all like dang y'all y'all getting deep into conversation. But let me shout you guys out. We got. Is that Grace, um, Etna Love, I Am Enough, 1976, underscore Bees in a Trap, another one of our panelists. Yo, we got three of our panelists on here. Um, you know, she just said, Miss Tony said, say that, Bees in a Trap. We got uh, Blink Meek Lash Bar, Tamika Jones. She's one of our panelists um, at, you know, the phenomenal first, you know, black. This is Expo that was Bartini is throwing. So she's giving y'all a lot of nuggets right now. So even then, you know, look, y'all want some more information? I have to come to this Expo. It's free, free, free. All free entry. Look, um, Beans in the Trout, she's going to be there. Bailey's Bartender 2019. There's another one on our panelists. She prints it. She prints it, dot it. Look, I'm telling you, these ladies are phenomenal. Phenomenal. I I really give them so much credit because I'm telling you, they really set your girl and they're like, look, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. So I, I really give you guys a lot of credit. And, it, you know, shout uh, out. It really yes. takes a village. It really takes a village. You yes. cannot build an empire by yourself. By yourself. It takes a team. That is, that is a surefire way to set yourself up for failure. Exactly. If that you cannot build a business. Rome was not built on one person. Yes, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely it's just, right. It does take a village. And you know what? M M Another panelist said, look, go and teach, teach you how to bend like a boss. You're absolutely right. And she said she can't wait. Look, I can't wait for this neither. We are speaking with you, right? And you're giving us so much nuggets right now. I mean, my goodness, Tamika. Very, very educated woman. I'm just so proud of you. You know, you my sister. I just watched, you know, you watch me grow and I watch you, you know, do your thing too. So it's amazing just seeing the boss queen that you are in the position that you are in. And, you know, you got your different businesses, you know, several, you know, different incomes coming in, which is amazing. And you know what I'm saying? And I also want to just, I want to know, and everybody who else who's on here, they probably like, look, how can we support you? What what can we do? Or even people who are into lashes, how can they take your classes? Or, you know, tell us, tell us about that. How can we support Blink Meat Lash Bar? So if you're interested in taking any classes or receiving any of the services that we provide, um, I do have a book now link on Blink Mink underscore Lash Bar um, that you can schedule any of the services that we provide. Um, and then, of course, on Instagram, we have Renew Credit Services. Um, that is our credit restoration program. Um, that we uh, provide as well. So if you are needing some help, if you know of anybody that needs some help, if you want just some extra money, you want to become a credit res restoration agent, you know, we're able to get you signed up um, in that vein as well. You do not have to struggle. You do not have to keep getting co-signers. Like this has to be the year. If 20, if 20 didn't push uh, you to uh, pivot and really thrive, get you to go back to the drawing board to say okay this is not working if it didn't cause you to you know when they did those layoffs and those furloughs if it didn't push something again i don't care if you want to bake a cookie yes 
Yeah. Put that cookie in some cellophane wrap. Get you some a graphic designer that can put you some stickers on your cookies. Mm -hmm. I don't care what it is. Just mm -hmm. do it well and just do it. Don't yes. second guess what you're trying to do. Like, I know I'm completely, I just feel that. I feel that in this Love. moment. Yes. Listen, dig deep. Find a way to reinvent you. There is something in your hands. I tell whoever is on this live, whoever will look at the replay, look again. Mm. It is money to be made. Look again. <laughs> So what it didn't work the first time go back to the drawing board try it again see what you can shave off and do a little bit different but don't give up that's it up it sucks to see i remember as a little girl i've never told anybody this story i remember as a little girl i used to love baking in the microwave true story mm. and i remember in my mind saying you know what i wish that they had some sort of contraption that you can hang literally you can hang the bacon over, put it in the microwave, and it can catch that grease as opposed to using up all the paper towels. Yep. I promise you, years later, somebody thought Bought of the same thing. thing. Put the, uh, am I lying? On HSC. Yep. And I remember in that moment saying, what if I don't it did it. Add it to somebody who could have captured that dream and we could have been in manifestation. I ain't have to work for nobody after that. So what you saying? <laughs> what I'm saying, but whatever, there's yes. no idea too small. You may just have to link up with somebody that can help you develop your idea, mm -hmm. but do it. That's do it. it. Do it. Do it. And then when you reach different levels, I tell people, even even in my establishment, I again I started from nothing. I started from just leaping out on faith and taking a class. And I bit by bit began to add and bring things into my lash bar. And people walk in and be like, oh, my God, it's so nice. But I'm like, if they only do. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I built it a little bit at a time. Did I come out of the, the board with photo shoots and graphics and all that? No, I didn't. It took my first lady to, to reach out to me and say, it's time. Because now you're too gifted. That's what good. you bring is not the average lash girl stuff so that's you it. got to invest that's you and your brand and that's it's it. not me it's that's not it. you. i'm not i'm not even trying to lie to you entrepreneurship ain't easy it is it's not sweat and tears it's sacrifices it's late nights early mornings yeah but what Whatever you're trying to attract, you have to invest in your brand. You have to you have to get somebody that can create and build help you build your dream out. You cannot do it by yourself. So professional photos, yes, I'm pushing you. Stop with these selfies on your flyers. Get a professional photo shoot done. It don't have to be fancy, just a headshot. Because guess what? You know, as you begin to be invited to speak on panels, it did, I felt very proud to be able to present to you a professional picture. Yes. That's you understand? It. So, yeah, even if you're not at that place, let that be, okay, you know what? I just got pushed tonight. Let me start putting my little coins to the side to get me a 30-minute professional photo well, shoot. Y'all got y'all stimulus checks. Y'all got y'all stimulus checks. Just, just put a little to the side. That's your photo shoot done. That's it. That's Period. it. That's it. Period. Invest in professional And watch what happens, Lex. Your confidence you you walk a little different when you can present different. Mm. Mm. And you ain't saying nothing but the truth. Send it to you at the table when you know you present. I'm presenting different. Yeah. So that's I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting something different. But you walk a little different when you can mm. present. Different. Don't be afraid of that. That's it. And you know what? I'm so happy. You know you came on here. And you really presented us and gave us just a lot of information on to just not myself, but to everybody who is on here. There's a lot of businesses that are on here that are really just listening to you. And I'm really hoping you guys are really getting some great, great tips and feedback. And, you know, we got our other panels. Our other panels, and she's talking through these comments, and I love it because oh, she's hey, preaching to me, too. Like, when you know you present different, like, you can't just... I'm 
I'm telling you, I'm telling you, look, I got to read her comments because she said, look, she said, there are seats at the table. We need to accept the seat. She told you, you better teach that part, sis, and you walk in the line. You own the building. Yes, you you own the building. You walk in like you own the building. Yes. That's it. That you is the key thing. Bag when you present different. I'm telling yes. you. Tell yes. You. That's you. it. You present and you feel different. And you know what? You guys um, are just really just giving some great nuggets. I'm telling you guys, if you love what you're hearing right now, you like, look, I need this information. I promise you, these are our panelists. This is what you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting some real tips, some real success, successful tips. They're not going to lead you to no BS. They're really going to tell you, no, sis. Bro, king, queen, this is what you need to do. We're guiding you into what you need to do. And I promise you guys, you're going to see a whole difference within your business. And they're so willing to help you, to guide you, willing just to be like, look, this is, this is, you know, I, I, I want you to win. I don't want you sitting out here. If, if you're serious, right. you got to be serious. If you ain't serious, don't, don't waste nobody's time, but you got to be serious. You got to be serious. So, you know, Miss Tamika Jones, she is the owner, founder, CEO of Blink Mink Lash Bar. You know what I'm saying? She got other other business too. She said she does the credit, she does the watch, she does all the beauty tips, but the makeup. Okay, don't don't be coming to her with no makeup. She, that's not her not, not a lot of work. That, that's not what she's doing. But you know what? Other other thing. <laughs> well, I listen. You like my makeup on my photo shoots? I got you on the makeup artist. That's she, it. I am the glam Marie. Yes. That. See, that's how you network, though. See, she said she got, she know the makeup artist for you, though. That's it. That's how we network. And then she has her own podcast. And I really, if y'all love what y'all hearing, I know she does a lot, to, a lot of this on her podcast. You know what I'm saying? I'm just definitely giving you guys some motivation, some, you know, just really helping and just helping people grow and walk into their path. So if y'all really love what she's saying right now, y'all really go follow her podcast. Go listen to her podcast. She says on Instagram and Facebook. They go live. It's called On the Table. And it's, it's a really great podcast. I really thank you, Tamika. Like, you have been amazing on here. I know we spoke about a lot, but there is two more things I'm going to ask you. And then we're going to say, you know what? We're going to go, but it's always a pleasure. You know, we definitely are going to talk again. But Two more things. I need to know where are we going to see your business in the next five years? And then the second thing, I need to know how we can follow you, your website, all that great stuff. You're welcome. Um, so where I see us in the next five years, again, we're getting ready to do a complete different, uh, uh, complete rebrand. Um, mm -hmm. So it won't be Blink Mink Lash Bar. I can't divulge too much. Okay. Um, but uh, where I see this business going is I've always said that I see three locations. Um, I see one here in Atlanta. I see the complex in Miami and I see the complex in New York City. And those are the three places that I would like to have uh, the complex at. Um, so that's what I see. Um, and also uh, going to uh, get my instructor's license um, because I love to teach. And that's probably why, you know, this is right up my alley. Right. Um, I absolutely love to teach. Um, and so I would definitely like to go ahead and get my uh, aesthetics instructor's license. Okay. Um, so I teach. I'm not, you know, I... I I just love to see people grow. I love to see the light bulb come on. I love to repost my student work. I love, and it's not for me. I tell everybody, listen, even if you don't choose Blink Me Lash Bar as the landing ground for you to take your lash certification class, call me so I can give you some pointers on what to look for when you're looking for right. any class to take. Um, and, yeah, so that's where I see the business in, uh, in, in, in five years. Um, I well, definitely see. The first one opening up in Atlanta in 21 for sure. Well, we like to say this when everybody comes on here and say, you know, um, this is where I see my business at. We go ahead and say it's going to happen. We claim okay. it. We receive it. And where we can't wait to see it open. We can't wait to see your three businesses in the three states, cities that you want it in. We cannot wait to literally see your whole vision come to life because you know what 
it is coming to life. All right. Mm -hmm. We 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 can't wait to see it. And we have our uh, Miss B's in the trap. She said, "Come through, vision. You see it. It's yours." That's yes. it. We love to say that. So we're going to definitely continue. You know I am. But everybody else who's on here, please go follow her. She's going to give you where you can follow her. And watch you grow. Watch you grow within your success, right? So go ahead and shout out your page, pages and your website so we can definitely follow you. Yes. So you can find me right now on Instagram at blinkmink underscore lash bar. You can find me on uh Facebook at Blink Meet Lash Bar or Tamika L. Jones. Um, I funnel the two. Um, you can find me on my credit restoration site on Instagram at Renew Credit Services. Um, and then, of course, you can find me uh, with the podcast. You better speak that thing. Uh, can you still hear me? Because that happened the last time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um uh on the table atlanta it's on the table atlanta on instagram and it's on the table uh on facebook we do the podcast every friday um we typically start up at about eight o'clock um and we talk about all kind of things Is there any topics that you know you may want to discuss if there are any tips anything we again everything happens on the table um, and so uh, that's where you can actually, if you know, I look to bring guests. If you're looking to be a guest on the show, you know, we welcome you to be a guest on the show. Um, again, you know, we can bring, you know, platform. We love to platform. I'm huge on support. That's super important to me. Um, and so I love to bring different guests onto the table, me and my co-host, Letitia Jones. Um, we, mm -hmm. you know, we hadn't done it in the past two weeks because she actually ended up having to have some surgery. Praise God. She is a breast cancer survivor. And so she did her last oh, yeah. surgery um, on Monday. And so we'll be, you mm -hmm. know, kicking things and cranking things back up on um, next week. Um, but if you want to be a guest panelist, if there's something that you want to, you know, be able to platform your business on, it is definitely, you know, we're going to have you on the table. Um, yes. <laughs> but yeah, just, just send me a DM on, on the table, uh, Atlanta, if you would like to be a guest on the show, we would love to have you. It, it doesn't matter what profession you're in. It doesn't matter what business that you have. You know, we would love to be able to platform and give, you know, different business, different entrepreneurs an opportunity to platform. Awesome. Awesome. So you guys already got her information. She told you. Oh, every every businesses um, where you can follow out her website and um, especially definitely follow the podcast um, on the table. And um, we just appreciate you for coming Thank on you. this. Thank yes, you. of course. You know, Thank love you. You are our first guest for our second season so this is a great, <laughs> exactly this is a great conversation again guys um i was having some issues okay with storage on my phone for getting <laughs> all these videos to youtube so i had to you know get that together <laughs> for all this youtube get it on youtube but it will everything will be on youtube so everybody can view it um it's soon as possible okay i promise i know i've been talking about this forever but it will be on youtube as soon as possible so you're able to check out this interview you're able to check out the last season the interviews and more interviews to come um after this lovely queen here so um please 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 just keep you know stay tuned for that one but we appreciate you um no. miss tamika jones blink meek lash bar again follow her she told you all her social network platform sites and then our next guest is my next panelist as well. Um, Bees in the Trap, all right? Tony, she will be our next interviewee. So that is the following Friday. Y'all know we do happy hour Fridays every other Friday. So she will be in the building with us giving her her background story and her you know hey we can have there. fun with it right so you guys tune in there but again everybody you know how i like to end it stay safe stay positive stay encouraged we love you much love smooches and we'll talk to you soon all right have a great Bye. and blessed night all right <laughs>